Hi there, it's Adai Tom Scoremaster and welcome to this brand new SketchUp Speed Build. So today I'm finally back with a brand new SketchUp Speed Build and this is really a cool one. I can't prepare you with that because it's been a very long time since I've created a SketchUp Speed Build and that's not because I've not been active in SketchUp lately because I've been very active in SketchUp lately, like more than ever I think, but just not to make videos because lately in 2017 so far there have just been so many people contacting me asking me if I can create a SketchUp model for them that I've been like b working in SketchUp like continually all the time uh, because I was working at some point uh, at uh, four different projects in four places around the world which was crazy and um, yeah I wasn't actually going there unfortunately but I was actually creating SketchUp builds for that area so that's cool but um, yeah also I have exams as you probably know because I've uh, got high school exams this year uh, which the Dutch people will know about and they they'll recognize this maybe if they're doing the exams as well and otherwise they'll know what exams I'm doing because it's just the regular exams everyone has to do uh, but that takes a lot of time because I have to study a lot and I've got to finish projects and all that kind of stuff and at the same time I want to upload videos and then Sims is always coming first over SketchUp and then here is SketchUp finally because I think SketchUp is just really cool to create videos in because there's just not so many video people doing it and also SketchUp is just such a fun program especially because I'm really progressing in SketchUp or at least in my opinion of course there's still a ton of people better at it I mean there's people doing this for a job like an actual job not the way I do it so that's crazy but I'm really having a fun time working in SketchUp and I was very happy to finally be able to sort of work my own way again not having to wait for people replying what they think of what I've created or waiting for like feedback and then putting that feedback back in when I'm working on this project. Also for school I'm actually working on a SketchUp project. I might share that with all of you someday if you'd like to see it. I can share it but I've, it can't be a speed build because it's simply built already and rebuilding it would be sort of silly I think. So I would have to come up with something for that but um, that's pretty cool as well. So that's like the best cool assignment ever because I mean being able to work in SketchUp is cool. Uh, for school especially if you can do it during school but um, yeah it was fun to finally be able to just relax you know I had an exam week last week and every moment I had to relax I actually went to my computer to work on this model because it was just so much fun to work on this for like half an hour continue and then while study I sort of thought about how to progress the uh, yeah the model but uh, maybe I should say what it is because I've been talking in this video for three minutes already and I've not even explained what I'm building you've seen it in the title already also in the thumbnail this is a, a waterside villa from Miami and the reason for this a is um, actually because um, currently there is the ultra festival the EDM festival like the big one of the biggest festivals in the world for EDM so electronic dance music and um, yeah I really want to go there someday and it's always cool because there's so many Dutch DJs and you look on Instagram and they're all posting stuff on like speedboats in uh, in Miami and and the waters around it of course uh, if they're like in the middle of the city center with a speedboat it wouldn't be a really good idea I guess but um, yeah I just get jealous of all of them especially when it's during like my exam weeks which it always is because it's just always in March and then uh, they always stay in these cool modern luxurious villas and I thought you know can create one of those uh, someday and yeah today was the day or actually this week was the day because I've been working on this for weeks and um, yeah, I'm very happy with the way it turned out to look like. It's a modern uh, villa and the cool thing about this is, is that the renders have turned out to be so cool. I've really tried to step up my game when it comes to the renders. I really want to improve those because those can simply make it look so much better. And also uh, something special about this build is the fact that I've actually worked on the interior seriously as well. Not uh, by adding furniture but by making the layout of the house. And I must say that unfortunately part of that footage got deleted. I noticed that I simply, well it wasn't actually being deleted, I was just being stupid by not recording. And I was, yeah I just didn't really actually rebuild it. But um, yeah still uh, there's 
just more than enough to um, look at, I guess, or at least I hope it there is. Of course there is, because this video is like 20 minutes almost. But um, yeah, that means that I've not added the furniture, but I have actually a thought about, you know, where is going to be the living room? How many windows do we want to have in the living room? Where, uh, how many uh, bedrooms can it all fit? Where's the stairs? All that kind of stuff. And in that way, this house is really a lot more realistic than the previous houses I've done. Also, I've worked with components a lot, which is the reason why the screen turns green all the time because that's when I'm actually in a component and therefore the rest of the other components turn green and then you can actually focus on that one component. Um, but that works really well. I know people have been saying this for like ages that you know you should use like components and I always find you know it's not really necessary. I was sort of too lazy to use them but it's, indeed it is just really a lot easier and it doesn't even, it saves you time because painting becomes much easier in SketchUp if you use components. It's just much better to move around the model. It's all just much more realistic, much better, much cleaner also because if you use SketchUp you know that sometimes a model can feel very messy but um, if you use components and groups it's really not that often that it feels as if the um, yeah the model is uh, messy and especially for like the projects I do where I have to make adjustments all the time because people want to see things differently um, then I have to make sure that it's easy sort of to fix that and that's only easy to do if you've got components um, so yeah the front it's I must say indeed um, if you are watching this and you're like hmm this is not really creative because you're shutting or using shutters again like you do in all your houses I'm sorry indeed I am again using shutters I just wanted I thought it would look cool but indeed I have to come up with something different sometimes so I will but for this house I find you know shutters is still going to be cool because very many of the houses in Miami um, which these are yeah, this one is sort of inspired by it. It's not even inspired by it, but you know, you see those beautiful water villas and then I think, you know, I, I would personally want to live in something modern slash tropical there. And that's a, like exactly what I build over here. But there's also very many sort of Spanish styled houses out there, um, which I personally don't really like too much. I don't really like the style or at least I would prefer this. So I find, you know, to create that style with like um, the tropical stuff and all then um yeah the shutters really belong to it especially if they're like wooden like they are because i made them wooden um but um yeah yeah i think in the end it's still cool but i hope you don't mind that i use shutters all the time but it's sort of becoming like my trademark because i add shutters all the time but you know they're pretty cool but here i'm also adding a skylight which is again something of making it more realistic i'm also thinking about the interior bits and also coming up with some crazier ideas because while working on it I realized that you can literally do everything in SketchUp so therefore you know why not add a skylight because that's what is cool and what makes the house more special so uh, that's what I did and um, generally I just really had a lot of fun creating this one which I was happy with because yeah I was just in the test week and this was just sort of to relax and I was very happy that it started to look cool as well and it was fun to finally be able to relax working in SketchUp again because that had been quite some time as well but I'm planning on really uploading a lot more SketchUp but I'm not too sure in what way because The Sims is still a very important part of my channel as well obviously um, because that's what most people are subscribed for but um, I know that there are quite quite a lot of people quite many people uh, who are subscribed for the SketchUp videos as well but I'm not really sure how I can like make this upload this more frequently sort of because um creating these like these house building videos does take like quite some time if you compare it to a let's build but doing a let's build in like SketchUp might not be the best idea either but maybe like a sped up let's build in like three episodes which is simply a longer speed build could be an idea but um yeah just let me know what i um what you would like to see me doing in SketchUp because that's very interesting for me to know. And also uh, the render videos in SketchUp, I don't really consider them actual videos sort of because I know that they're not the most interesting ones. And um, that's also not necessarily what they are supposed to be because they're very informative. They, yeah, up, like a company asked me to create those videos for them, um, which is uh, like informative for some of you, but not very entertaining. Uh, so that's just a heads up. I know that, 
yeah, just don't get your hopes up too high if you see those videos and therefore not watch these speed builds because I can imagine that you now think that every SketchUp video is like boring, like those are sort of. Um, and then I want to prepare you that the speed builds aren't boring. The other ones, they aren't, aren't necessarily boring, but they're just a lot more informative, I guess we would say. But um, yeah, here you see that I'm working on the layout. Also, you saw that I had to actually undo some things because, or actually it wasn't undoing, but it was undoing the other way around just to uh, create it all uh, because I'd forgotten to record some parts, but I just noticed that it wasn't that it wasn't actually a really big part because a lot of it still got recorded, but um, oh well. Uh, yeah, I'm adding colors here. Like I said, I went for sort of a tropical color scheme with, um, yeah, nothing too crazy. I tried to add some color by, um, yeah, first of all, it's like a very colorful environment, so that helps. And I added color by using some colorful furniture, which is what you'll see in the renders, which I'm very proud of, to be honest. I've not created all of them yet, but the ones I have created so far are really cool. So I'm really happy with those. And I think you'll like them as well. They're just much more realistic. I added a boat in them as well, just because it looks cool. And in that way, I can make them so much more lively, sort of, and that's just, what these renders need to be sort of so that's what i'm sort of proud over um so here we've got a, like a terrace patio area and you've got a really cool infinity pool as well in this house and it's like by the ocean or by the sea as well so i mean that's this is just a really cool house with that pier in the front and everything i'm i would just really like to live here it's got like a huge um bedroom as well with like a, an ensuite bathroom and uh, like an uh what do you call it again a walk-in closet that's it i just couldn't come up with the word um because i mean this is sort of an expensive house definitely if this would actually be built so therefore i guess you know you want the walk-in closet then because rich people do that well it's not only rich people everyone wants that i guess um especially women uh, sorry to generalize here, but it is true. Um, but um, yeah, here we're, I'm working on the interior layout and I noticed that I am getting like more experience working on layouts of houses because of the projects. Uh, I also noticed that it is very important that I do create the layout because without creating the layout, the house tends to be way too small, especially if you compare this house, which is quite a big house, but not even insanely big. It is, yeah, okay, it is very big, but the other houses which I created are also very lux like luxurious houses, very big houses as well. But they would be big in real life if, we, if they would actually be built. But in SketchUp, they weren't as big. And in this house, it is very big. So that shows that otherwise, if I don't actually think about the layout and the dimensions, uh, the house is just not going to be realistic when it comes to the interior. And small houses tend to be a lot cooler to look at or just they tend to look a lot nicer simply than big houses do. So therefore it's sort of cheating only doing the exterior and making it very small because small houses just simply look much nicer than big houses. But being able to create good looking big houses is sort of a challenge, but that's what I, yeah, that's sort of the challenge I went for with this build. And yeah, I guess it worked out pretty fine. Here I'm copying the uh, shutters because of far you know, we've not got enough shutters yet, like never enough shutters. So I added them all over here in the front. I know that people who hate shutters will hate this. People who love shutters will love this because it's I me. Mean, it's just a full wall of shutters. I mean, I personally really like it, but I must admit, it's also very realistic by the way, because it's sort of inspired by one of my own houses, which I once did, which had like the vertical um, shutters. That one is really cool, by the way. Not very many people have seen it, or at least in my opinion, sort of not enough. There, you know, as a YouTuber, of course, you always care about how many people watch the video. That's just interesting for you to know. And you want that people watch the videos that um, you put a lot of effort into. And that was one of the videos I put a lot of effort into. And I might actually put like a link in the description and something on the screen. If I did, you'll probably see it now. If I didn't, then I've forgotten it. But that was the, um, what was it? Okay, now I've got to look it up, of course. But that was a house which I worked really hard on. I did my best for the renders. And I personally thought that the idea of the house was really cool with uh, the shutters, which were vertical, going over the entire house. Maybe 
by mentioning this you already know uh, what the house is that i'm talking about but that sort of inspired that house inspired me to create this house or this part of the house the front uh, because it's so much more private um, if you um, look at it in this way because from the front of course you don't want to have people looking in too much so then it is actually cool if you uh, don't have uh, too much glass. Well, you do also want to have glass, so therefore you combine the shutters and the glass. It was, by the way, the uh, SketchUp Speedbot Contemporary House. I uploaded it eight months ago already. And uh, that's, yeah, that's just a really cool one as well. So that's sort of a recommendation because, um, yes, the SketchUp builds are really getting better every time, in my opinion, to be honest, but it's still like the first few that get viewed a lot or the f not necessarily the first few, but really when I just didn't put too much effort into rendering and stuff, which made me think maybe I shouldn't put as much effort into rendering, but then I didn't and I noticed that it doesn't really look that good, so I shoot, but um, it's like the modern mountain house has got 300,000 views or 350, something like that. And then modern house number, I don't know, I should really not give them modern blah, blah, blah names, but more something like this name, because that's just much more recognizable. But that one also has like 50, 450,000 views and then the skyscraper one which is actually really cool in my opinion the other ones are cool as well but these are just cooler the things i create nowadays but that skyscraper was really cool and that one was viewed a lot as well but um yeah i hope that the like the upcoming sketchup videos can be um like received just as well because i personally think that they're just really cool as well so i'm um, share it with anyone who you think uh, might be interesting in this kind of um video um and then here I'm creating a skylight again. Uh, by the way, I'm not um, recording the gardening or the landscaping that I'm doing simply because my PC simply really starts to lag when I do that. I guess everyone PC does because rendering and especially adding like components which are really big does really make your computer go slow, but uh, I nevertheless added all those items rendered it for like hours and now we've got a really cool end result um, with a house which I'm very proud of so I'm very happy um, with the end result I hope you like it too if you'd like me to create something in SketchUp so let's say you've bought a lot and you want to me to come up with sort of a concept design for it or whatever then you can always send me an email uh, the link or the email address actually is in the description down below and then just let me know what you would like me to do and then I will respond to that. So uh, here I'm just working on the front. I've not recorded the last part of the front design because I believe I forgot that. But anyways, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Really please enjoy the renders as well, which you currently see. Uh, I hope they turn out now nice because I've not created all of them yet. The one you're currently seeing, I have probably created already because it's in the beginning of the render photo shoot. But anyways, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and then I hope to see you back later.